The Last Bold Judgment. Revelation 16:21. And there fell upon men a great hail of rock out of heaven every lithinose stone about one hundred pounds or more. And men blasphemed God, because of the plague of hailstones for the plague thereof was exceeding great. Included in the last plague of the seven-year tribulation is a bombardment of stones from God. God stones the earth dwellers. They curse him. The penalty by law. Death by stoning. Curse God. It looks like it used to be a brown hat with a skull in it. About the size of a bullseye. Guess something exceeding great got it. The similarities between Revelation and Joshua are remarkable. In the tenth chapter of Joshua we learn that God used hailstones to defeat the enemies of Israel. The book of Joshua has many similarities with the book of Revelation. Not only does a false lord of righteousness Adonai Zedek lead a group of nations against Joshua, who has come to possess the land, but also, in the midst of their defeat, the kings hide in caves in fear of the conquering Joshua, Revelation 6 15 and 16, Revelation 6 15 through 17. Then the kings of the earth and the great men, the captains, the wealthy, the powerful, and every man whether slave or free, hid themselves in caves and, among mountain rocks. They called out to the mountains and the rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come. And who is able to stand against it? Joshua 10:16. The fate of the enemies of God. Death by stoning. Hiding in caves for the fear of the judgment of God. Adonai Zedek means Lord of Righteousness. He represents the Antichrist. Joshua represents Jesus Christ. Adonai Zedek leads many nations against Joshua. The Antichrist will lead many nations against Jesus. God sent the hornets to help Joshua against the enemies of Israel. Major welts and swelling. Just like the grievous sores of Revelation 16 2 from the first bowl judgment. Ouch. The captain is Jesus. Joshua's name means, Jehovah saves. The same word in the New Testament is Jesus. Joshua is a type of Jesus. Acts 7:45. Stephen gives Jesus the credit for the victory recorded in the book of Joshua. Possibly because of the parallel ministries of Joshua who conquered Canaan and Jesus who had come to conquer Satan, sin, and death. In Joshua 6, there were seven priests blowing seven trumpets. In Revelation 8, there are seven angels blowing seven trumpets. In Joshua 6, we see the Ark of the Covenant. In Revelation 11, still part of the trumpet judgments, we suddenly see the Ark of the Covenant. In Joshua, it is Jericho that must fall before the people can enter the promised land. In Revelation, it is Babylon that falls. Joshua 6 10 Joshua commanded the people, saying, You shall not shout nor let your voice be heard nor let a word proceed out of your mouth, until the day I tell you, Shout. Then, you shall shout. Revelation 8 1. Silence in heaven. Revelation 8 1. The seven trumpet angels. Silent. Just prior to starting their work. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour.